This was so good that I just had to share it with you today because I went down in person to interview Dr. Andy Galpin and he clears up in this episode what really matters for you to lose the weight and is there a perfect diet and what it is that you need to be doing to lose the weight and get in the best shape of your life. and you're watching Breaking Success. This is the show that gives you the answers for you to build the body, the business, and the life that you love. So if you're like so many of our members that first come on board, you're drowning in information. There's so many videos, there's so many podcasts, there's so many books and magazines and articles that you could be reading, watching, and listening to, and the problem is, who do you actually listen to? That's why I'm giving you the answer today in this episode with one of the world's best experts. And Andy Galpin does a great job in giving you in this episode the answers to what it is that you really need to be doing. So I'm really looking forward to hearing from you after this episode and be sure to comment below with what it is that you're going to take away because I personally want to come in and answer your questions and I want to go back down to see Andy even more to interview him and I want to be sure to ask him the questions that you have. But yeah, so... So good and true. The, the point is that we have to, um, any person who, who has that approach is the dogmatic, like this is my way and I'm going to follow the wrong. These are the people you should be abrasive and apprehensive. Yeah. selling me to look infallible, well, these are maybe the people you want to be yeah. apprehensive against. And the people that I respect and feel most, that I work with most, are the people who are constantly like, yeah, screw that one up. Yeah. Uh, okay, now this is what I'm thinking right now, as I understand, oh, ooh, that's going to be modified, we're playing, we're adapting, we're going forward. Totally. I, I remember not that long ago, somebody was like, oh, like this person changed their mind and they said the, like, the exact opposite of what they said over yeah. here. And I was like, but that's a good thing. No, yes. Because it's yes. progressing. Yes. <laughs> like, we are, like, and this is another thing that I can't say, it's like, we're all on the same team. We all want to be able to get better right now. Yeah. Why is there so much conflict going on? Like, let's yeah. actually help each other move forward. It's just, yeah, there's no I, need for I could not agree things. more. Like, in the, in the, I mean, we, I think we made this argument on, on Body Knowledge, our podcast, yeah. which is this field is still so small yeah. relative to where it could be yeah. that if you succeed and you get more followers and you get more sales, that actually helps me. Totally. It moves us more towards this is the norm, this is the mainstream. And, and so, fighting over the fact that uh, you know, you're making a twelve dollars sale over me. Like this is this is not helpful. Like let's get to the point where we're all billionaires mm. and, and or whatever. Mm. And exercise is is the norm. It's a new thing. Yeah. Good quality information. And then we, we can worry about undermining each other. I think the more I've tried to help people, I'll use weight loss. Yeah. Um, I, I've had friends that I've known since I was a child that are still morbidly obese, mm. and I've tried a hundred things on them, and like this doesn't work. Mm. I've had people where I've had one conversation and all of a sudden like they lost 200 pounds. Yeah. I think it really has to be on them. Like if they're not really ready for it, I don't know how much you can really do. Yeah. And this is what I think breaks people's heart a lot, especially when it's family members. Yeah. And you're just watching them go through this yeah. slow process and you're just like, I don't know what you can do. I mean, I hope this book helps. I hope all these interviews help. And, and maybe if a million people hear this message, a hundred will make. It'll be the spark that gets them. But I don't think we know what that thing is that the hits trigger. people a lot. Yeah. And we just, I think, have to continue to have conversations like this that, um, you know, in, in the mission of my website, you'll see like the, the, the mission is to educate. Mm -hmm. But I actually, I think I might remove that word. Mm -hmm. Because if, like you said, like information is not important. Mm -hmm. What is important is that you inspire mm -hmm. and you entertain or engage. Yeah. And I think if we can inspire and engage people and they can push that to go learn more information, then you're fine. Yes. But the information itself is probably not going to put us into a place. This is why storytelling mm -hmm. does everything. Yeah. Everything is storytelling. Yeah. Uh, if you want a documentary that just gave you all the information, the facts would be the worst documentary ever. Yeah. And why does every documentary work that works? Yeah. It's because they tell an amazing story. Yeah. Do you feel like also like you have to like we'll talk at the same with the conversation we're having about social media before. You have to come at it in a way that will get engagement with people yeah. and you have to um, present your information in a way that it can be consumed. Yeah, that, that's that's another really good point. Um, whether you take this from a Bartholomew's conscious coaching perspective or from the way I do it with, with science. I, I, there was somebody that made a call, like a, uh, a paper came out and 
The Atlantic or something, or an article in the Atlantic uh, a year ago, two years ago, that says something like scientists need to come need to come down off their ivory tower. Mm -hmm. And I like yes, like this is exactly what has to happen. Uh, a study recently published, maybe three years ago, showed that on average, seven people read any scientific paper all the way through. Oh, seven people. <laughs> So it's like you're spending all this money and all this time and your own heart and your own sweat because trust me, like it, people see the passion in coaches, yeah. but scientists are just fact, like it is your life. And it, it, like I got a, a review back this morning on a paper I've been working like a year and a half on and I was like, yeah, like, what am I screaming? Like we are just as emotional and passion. Yeah. Like this is our life too. Mm -hmm. You just don't see it because we don't put it on social media. Yeah. It's often, most scientists don't. Yeah. But this is a big deal and we work our lives on it. And, and when you do that and you realize Six people read it. It's like, okay, so you can react in one of two ways. You can be bitter. People like, oh, people are just, they want to, you know, check out the next person on Instagram who looks great naked, but they don't really want to. Yeah. You can do that, yeah. which is a closed mindset, yeah. right? Or you can say, no, okay, I'll take the responsibility and I'll come off the side of your tower and I'll take the information and I will as reasonably responsibly as I possibly can while avoiding clickbait and avoiding things that are unhelpful. Yeah. Try to put this into a format where people can be inspired by it and they can digest it because just sitting back and going like, well, you need to learn how to read research. Yeah. I don't think that's helpful for people. They're, clearly they're not gonna do it. Yeah. And I don't really blame them. I don't read research on economics yeah. or like other theory. Yeah. I was like, can you yeah. tell me where to put my money? Yeah, 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 yeah. Great, so yeah. why do I expect everyone else who feels the same about fitness and health? Mm, good point. Right? Totally. And now I need to come to them on there. This is why I like people like, um, like my friend Eddie Joe. He was doing phenomenal stuff on his Instagram account, taking stuff and making really nice intro, uh, yeah. infographics and yeah. putting these things up and putting in a in a way that it's not just like, therefore do this, Yes. but it's just like, well, this is what we found, so it could mean this, could mean this and this, but it's, it's easy to digest and it's very easy to get yeah. through. Uh, but I, I think that is that responsibility now does fall on the scientists a little bit more. And if we do that, I think it makes it easier on some of these people yep. to open up their mind and say, okay, uh, maybe I will think about this a little bit differently. Yep. Because if not, if you just come out there and be like, ah, another paper proved Keto's bullshit, yep. it doesn't help. No, no one gets convinced by that. Yep, totally. The people that are in that tribe just stick tighter to it. Yep. Yeah, and if anything, it will probably strengthen the tribe. For sure. Because that do it, it gives them something to eat off and rally. Yeah, yeah, it gives them something to push back against. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, now, this is where I want to make sure that you get the most out of being here. And I want to hear from you. So if you've enjoyed this episode, click like and make sure I can send you the new episodes each and every week. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, I really want to make sure that I'm giving you exactly what you need. So comment below. I want to know what you're going to take away from this episode. And the best conversations after every episode always happen in the Breaking Success Tribe. I'll pop a link below for you to join the free group so you get access to the guides, the live streams. I'm in there and your questions personally each and every day plus you get all the episodes as well so thank you so much for being here and joining us i'm really looking forward to seeing you in the next episode